Okay, so I'm going to show you how to enhance a form that you're going to create in your database. So as you can see along the left hand side you've got your tables. So I'm going to create a form based on my donation table. So I'm going to create and click form and it's automatically generated my form. I'm just going to maximize that there for you. So what I need to do is I want to create a drop down menu here for the amount because I'm going to create fixed values of which people can donate. So if you click into view and go into design view, you'll be in design view of the form. What you need to do now is click design and you're going to click on this icon here, which is a combo box. So if I click on this, I'm now going to draw out my combo box. So just a small little box here. And I know the values that I want to type in. So I'm going to select this option here and press next. And I'm going to type in some values. So I'm doing this according to pounds or dollars. So I'm going to go up in increments of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I'm going to say 30 pounds is the maximum that someone can do in one donation. Obviously, these values here will vary depending on the scenario that you've been given. So I'm going to click next. I need to now change this to store that value in this field because I want it to be stored in the amount field. So whatever I select from that drop down menu is stored in this field name. Click next and you need to create a label for this because this is what's going to appear on the form. So I'm going to call it amount because that's what it's called on the for the field name and make sure I put it in capital letters to go in accordance with the formatting of the rest of the form. So now that I'm done, I'm going to click finish. And what you can see over here is that my combo box has appeared. I now need to delete the amount field from the database. So I need to just make sure I've selected those two and I've deleted that. And then I'm going to take my combo box and just move it underneath so that it's in a suitable position. So you can now test it by going back into form view. If we look here, I've now got myself a combo box.